Welcome you all for the session Design Challenges in Wireless Sensor Networks. Myself, uh, Dr. Suresh. I'm working as a professor in Computer Science Engineering Department, KPR Institute of Engineering and Technology, Koyamato, Tamil Nadu, Indi India. In previous uh, two sessions, part one and part uh, two, we discussed about the overview of uh, uh, wireless sensor uh, network and in part uh, two we discussed about the application of uh, wireless sensor network so uh, before we going to discuss about design challenges in wireless sensor network let us have a look at uh, or recap about what is overview of our introduction to wireless sensor network so wireless sensor network is a collection of sensor nodes the sensor node is none other than a sensor microcontroller transceiver battery everything so mode as well as sensor node is the same so collection of these sensor nodes can be deployed at somewhere and these can collaboratively work to identify certain desired data say for an example in a forest fire environment you can deploy enormous sensor nodes altogether and what it can do is it can sense is there any heat and in in time it will respond it is a time sensitive data it will respond to the sink and this sink will take the necessary action so sensor node collection in a wireless environment is it to be the wireless sensor network we discussed mode and wireless sensor uh, sensor node or the interchangeably used terminology we have discussed two th examples also we have discussed uh, like uh, real time example of a sensor node we discussed and the supporting technology embedded wireless networking these are all the technologies supported technologies that we discussed later we discussed about uh, then uh, the second part is application of wireless sensor networks uh, unlike uh, the traditional computer networks application the application of uh, that wireless sensor networks are enormous very high level of applications have in all field say for an example healthcare so healthcare what it can do it can take care of our uh, factors health desired properties like heartbeat bp sugar level and uh, a lot of other factors also it can keep monitor and can convey to the desired places right then fire forest forest fire detection places structural monitoring a yeah, large building no it need to be monitored regular interval suppose if there anything goes wrong crack is there in the building and so on these sort of things are all keep monitored by the sensor nodes in a regular interval and it will give you the idea about what's good and bad such a things it used to take care and why not uh, intrusion deduction intrusion deduction enemy intrusion deduction for military purpose so all the battlefield can be uh, deployed with the sensor nodes and these sensor nodes can give you the good idea about what's going wrong or right such a things it will uh, tell you don't forget sensor camera also a sensor sensor so sensor means uh, don't always uh, simply think like sensor is uh, some uh, something camera is not so on so camera is a sensor also so this is what we discussed in this uh, overview of uh, wireless sensor network as well as the application of wireless sensor network now we are going to discuss about design challenges in wireless sensor network so in this design challenges of wireless sensor network we should first of all know about what are the characteristics of wireless sensor networks how it differs from traditional computer networks what are the components it consists of what is the limitation and what are the various uh, uh, characteristics it possess consists of such a things we discuss afterwards we discussed about the operational challenges of wireless sensor networks we should see so once if you know this then only you come to know about how to design a new wireless sensor network system
then only you come to we come to know about as a engineers so you, we should know about its limitation skill set and so on that is the reason behind this title let's see So characteristics of wireless sensor networks. What are the characteristics it consists of? Wireless sensor networks mainly consists of sensors. Actually sensors uh, in the sense that can easily be replaced by the terminology like sensor node. That is the correct word. Sensors or sensor nodes are uh, constrained devices. Constrained devices. Sir, what is constrained devices? You can ask the question. The device which is have the limited ability in terms of computational power, screen size, uh, as well as um, um, RAM, energy, battery, these sort of devices can be said to be the constrained device. Let me tell you a very simple thing. If you take a computer, if you take a laptop, if you take a mobile phone, in terms of computation, in terms of uh, energy, power, in terms of a sc uh, small screen size, if I ask you which is a constrained device, then obviously you say like mobile device. Am I right? So similarly, sensor node also a constrained device. Why? Because it consists of limited power. It is a battery powered. There is no current power. Is straight away current is not embedded, and communication also limited. Communication, wireless communication. No, that is also limited bandwidth. Uh, limited bandwidth to and fro data transfer limited memory also it cannot have uh, very big memory there is no hard disk flash uh, memory only it has very limited and the energy constraint due to their small size so energy constraint also this characteristics so wireless networks can also be deployed in extreme environmental condition and may be prone to enemy attacks what is extreme environmental condition because we are interested to monitor the environmental factors in many of the places let me tell you a very simple example recently what china has done in the sense so they have put a uh, sensor nodes in their very big place like in a mountain somewhere they have deployed that um, sensor nodes and identified what is the environment how does it get affected how the but environment is there look like in which they have identified these sort of places you can consider as a extreme environmental condition right or otherwise let me tell you a very simplest piece agricultural places where you are interested with the precision agriculture in which you have deployed uh, plenty of uh, um, sensor node in a uh, particular place in a particular place uh, suppose I assume 12 o'clock afternoon how about the sunlight so that is a harsh environment right why not uh, underwater uh, sea uh, in which is a sensor is deployed and uh, that uh, environmental are monitored so that's what they are telling in uh, extreme environmental conditions and may be prone to enemy attacks enemy attacks in the sense uh, intruder attacks third party attack that sort of general network security related attacks also possible that's what they are telling next although deployed in an ad hoc manner they need to be self-organized and self-healing and can face constant reconfiguration most of the people first of all would like to know about what is ad hoc ad hoc ad hoc structureless infrastructureless environment is generally set to be the ad hoc let me tell you very simply See, if you take a computer network in which some devices like a router, switch, hub, these devices, gateway, these devices are g make the computer uh, systems networking in a well-defined topology infrastructure manner. But as far as mobile ad hoc network, mobile network, mobile ad hoc network or our wireless sensor network doesn't have these sort of special type of devices like a router router and uh, 
um, gateway switch hub and so on so what happens in the sense each device present in the particular network act as a relay for sending and receiving the data and so on what it has to do is spontaneous instantaneous network it has to form infrastructure it has to make up okay so that's what they are telling a dog structureless infrastructureless spontaneous structure oriented that's what the term they use to say and it should have such a self organization ability it it should have and self healing ability what is self healing this is very simple such a property human being we are having suppose uh, running nose we are having day by day or hour by hour gradually we getting cured right how it is happening suppose we feel headache and we are sleeping what happens little bit uh, we are okay right that's what a self healing a system heals itself itself so such a property characteristics wireless sensor network should have the next one that we are going to discuss is the design challenges in the design challenges there are around six design challenges are there the first one is heterogeneity heterogeneity in the sense see suppose in forest fire reduction you are deploying around uh, 1000 1500 nodes not all the sensor nodes need to be bought from the particular company that can be developed by n number of vendors and they can collaboratively cooperatively work it has to work no other go so that sort of heterogeneity Uh, may present in the sensor network however even though the devices has to collaboratively work with one another this is what they are telling the devices deployed may be of various types and need to collaborate with each other so this is what they sell, say heterogeneity it should support heterogeneity of the devices should support interoperability next is distributed processing what is the aim of uh, deploying sensor nodes all over the places in the particular area each and every sensor node collecting the data need not to simply collect the data and send it to it has to do some uh, processing that processing can be a filtering functions like uh, instead of sending all the data maximum of data minimum of data average of data so that sort of things it can do even though the distributed processing is carried out uh, in the deployed sensor places the data that is sent it to the sync no that's what a centralized uh, places centralized place that going to utilize the data in a effective manner right so in which the algorithm is centralized in the particular place the algorithm is centralized but in a distributed processing in each and every sensor node has to do the processing next low bandwidth communication low bandwidth communication the data should be transferred efficiently between sensors uh, as far as the sensor node is concerned wireless sensor node is concerned unlike internet devices it does not send the data in a big big data it simply send a simple data like humidity uh, heat as well as vibration this set of simple simple data only it keeps sense so it needs merely a limited number of uh, limited amount of uh, bandwidth only generally bandwidth in the sense the amount of data that can be sent that can be said to be the low bandwidth so mm, this design challenges one design challenge is none other than low bandwidth communication and another one is a large scale coordination large scale coordination so large scale coordination in the sense uh, let us uh, take the same case uh, forest fire detection right in which uh, suppose you want to monitor the forest uh, fire so how many uh, um, thing you have to deploy you have to deploy a plenty of uh, node right that's what they are telling large scale that can be 500 1000 1500 2000 2000 and so on so this is what uh, it is uh, telling like a large scale coordination is needed the sensor need to coordinate with each other to produce required results even though 500 1000 1500 2000 5000 nodes are deployed these thing nodes has to collaboratively has to work with one another coordinate utilization of sensors 
utilization of the sensor should be effective see uh, that the sensor has a limited computational power and uh, computation power and the energy consumption is limited why because it is a battery so when you design a routing protocol or MAC protocol these set of protocols when you design you should consider these set of limitations and you have to do effective performance that the system has to produce the effective performance let me tell you very simple example how it can be attained say for an example suppose if you take your mobile phone what it does when you speak it will uh, light the screen otherwise it goes uh, off right similarly that uh, mobile sensor uh, that uh, sensors know so what it can do is when it need to do any particular work it has to wake up otherwise it has to sleep in this way we can save the energy this is generally said to be the duty cycle it is said to be or in another wise uh, another one if you take a tcp ip layer or osi layer in which uh, logical link layer mac uh, protocol is there no that MAC protocol is responsible for channel utilization access that can effectively be utilized th th thereby energy can be saved so that's what they are telling so in this way you can utilize the sensor effectively real-time computation generally data is divided into three type time sensitive data in the sense of fraction of the second only that uh, delay can be tolerated and less time delay uh, data in the sense seconds to minutes tolerable data and another one is uh, not time tolerable data uh, not uh, time doesn't matter data in the sense um, minutes to hour wise the time can be tolerated such th this is what the classification of data type suppose if you need the data in a very precise manner say for an example forest fire deduction you the real time data instantaneously send it to the sink then only they can take the appropriate action no that is a very good example for this a real time computation the computation should be done quickly as new data is always being generated so what uh, data it need to generate heat temperature is the data it needs to identify once if it is identified then uh, instantaneously it should be uploaded sent it to the appropriate places then only it can identify um, then only that uh, relevant action can be taken so two things we discussed one is characteristics of wireless sensor networks we discussed and another one is design challenges such as heterogeneity, distributor processing, low bandwidth communication, large scale coordination, utilization of sensors, real time computations. All the six characteristics, uh, design challenges we should consider. The third one is operational challenges of wireless sensor networks. So, operational characteristics, the challenges when you design a new uh, uh, system, system for some other purposes using wireless sensor networks these are all the things you should bear in mind first one is energy efficiency it should be energy efficiency uh, this is very simplest thing energy means battery is very limited because the device is a uh, constrained devices so what are all the ways that we can save the energy so that it lifetime can be prolonged lifetime lifetime can be prolonged don't forget that uh, sensor node not having the power uh, wired power it is a battery operated okay so uh, unwanted things should be avoid, uh, avoided and uh, effective work should be carried out with the minimal energy limited storage and competition already stated that uh, our um, sensor node is a uh, constrained device in the sense everything is limited everything is limited so it has a limited storage only some flash memory and there is no hard disk ram also very limited and so on competition also limited it consists of a microcontroller microcontroller is not a microprocessor to do multitasking 
or heavy computational activities. It has a very limited uh, functional set. So that's what the computations it does, like limited storage and computation. Low bandwidth and high error rates. Uh, low bandwidth. The data sends between one sensor node to another sensor node. No, it is uh, very limited. Limited data, very minimal data only uh, sent between one node to another node. Here, because it uses a wireless medium, the bandwidth also very limited bandwidth only. It is one of the operational challenge you should consider when you design a new system. And high error rate. Why? Because magnetic interference may happen and harsh environment it is placed so there is a uh, possibility and the any of the sensor node may go down because of software aging as well as the hardware aging so obviously you can expect some error is human similarly this uh, software aging hardware aging can uh, make the system go down and to able to make high error rates that's what they are telling low bandwidth and high error rate is one of the operational challenge of wireless sensor network the error is common why because it's a wireless communication that is one of the reason not a wired communication wireless communication electromagnetic interference uh, may be the reason behind this and the environment may be noisy see suppose uh, you are interested to um, observe the vibrations from the factory and due to nearby transportation the vibration can be noisy noisy so the data need not be the accurate data and so on node failure or expected node failure is possible because of software aging and the hardware aging longer okay so these errors are common so these things you should bear in mind scalability to a large number of sensor nodes you should consider scalability means let us take the same example of forest fire deduction in which instead of deploying 500 thousand thousand five hundred data you can deploy plenty of datas plenty of uh, sensor nodes thousand five hundred two thousand three thousand four thousand five thousand data you can mm, deploy so this is what the scalability to a large number of sensor nodes your algorithm should support yes next survivability in harsh environment i already told you it's harsh environment because uh, we are interested to know about the harsh environment also uh, i said uh, chinese uh, deployed in a very large mountain places to know about the environmental humidity uh, air quality such a things and so on so that is the very good simplest example for the harsh environment so sensor nodes should have the survivability in that those harsh environment so in this session we discussed about uh, design challenges of uh, wireless sensor network in which we discussed about characteristics of wireless sensor networks in which i said that uh, it is a constrained device so every uh, resource is a limited resource then design challenges like heterogeneity distributed processing low bandwidth communication large scale coordination utilization of sensors real time computation then we discussed about the operational challenges of wireless sensor network such as energy efficiency constrained device low bandwidth and high error rates scalability and survivability in harsh environments so these are all the things about uh, challenges of wireless sensor networks you should consider before you start designing a new system wsm system Thank you. Thank you for watching.